Today I'm going to be doing a review and demonstration of the Vernal Organic Matcha, which is a pure green tea powder. This one is 100% organic. Comes in a nice four ounce resealable bag. Very easy to open. Nice green powder. So to brew matcha, is it's different than brewing normal tea because it's powdered instead of leaves. So what you do is I'm going to make two cups of tea. So for each cup of tea, you need one teaspoon of matcha. So we're going to measure out. approximately two teaspoons into the bowl. You want to make sure there aren't too many large clumps. Traditionally when you make matcha you have a strainer and a bamboo whisk and a matcha bowl which has a flat bottom. But those are hard to find over here in America. So I'm going to be demonstrating it with things you might have in your own home. So just kind of smush it around, make sure you break up any um, large clumps. So that will make it easier to whisk and then you'll have a frothier drink. Okay. So matcha isn't, is drank in small quantities. So each glass should have two ounces of water. So I'm going to pour out four ounces. And the water should be under boiling. About 175. Alright. So then, just carefully pour it into the bowl. With the powder. Like this. And this is where... You would traditionally use your bamboo whisk, but I don't have one of those. So I'm going to use my little milk frother. Um, if you don't have one of these, you can just use a, a metal whisk. You'll just have to use a little more arm power. So we're going to do this for a minute or two until it's frothy. And to some extent, it's personal preference with how much froth you want. It will get frothier if you have the traditional tools, but... We'll get a pretty decent glass of matcha with this. So... So then, you just pour carefully into your glass without making a mess like I am. Well, If it's too strong for you when you first try it, you can add sweetener or steamed milk. But otherwise, just drink your matcha and 